Chapter 3 Nazism and the Rise of Hitler In the spring of 1945, a little 11-year-old German boy called Helmut was lying in bed when he overheard his parent discussing something in serious tones. His father, a prominent physician, deliberated with his wife whether the time had come to kill the entire family or if he should commit suicide alone. His father spoke about his fear of revenge, saying, Now the Alice will do to us what we did to the crippled and Jews. The next day, he took Helmuth to the woods where they spent their last happy time together, singing old children's songs later. Helmut's father shot himself in his office. Helmut remembers that he saw his father's bloody uniform being burned in the family fireplace. So, traumatized was he by what he had overheard and what had happened that he reacted by refusing to eat at home for the following nine years. He was afraid that his mother might poison him. Although Helmuth may not have realized all that it meant, his father had been a Nazi and a supporter of Adolf Hitler. Many of you will know something about the Nazis and Hitler. You probably know of Hitler's determination to make Germany into a mighty power and his ambition of conquering all of Europe. You may have heard that he killed Jews. But Nazism was not one or two isolated acts. It was a system, a structure of ideas about the world and politics. Let us try and understand what Nazism was all about. Let us see why Helmut's father killed himself and what the basis of his fear was. In May 1945, Germany surrendered to the Allies, anticipating what was coming. Hitler, his propaganda minister, Goebbels and his entire family committed suicide collectively in his Berlin bunker in April. At the end of the war, an international military tribunal at Nuremberg was set up to prosecute Nazi war criminals for crimes against peace, for war crimes and crimes against humanity. Germany's conduct during the war, especially those actions which figure Hitler center and Goebbels left. Leaving after an official meeting 1932. New words, allies, the allied powers were initially led by the UK and France. In 1941, they were joined by the USSR and USA. They fought against the Axis powers, namely Germany, Italy, and Japan. Come to be called crimes against humanity, raised serious moral and ethical questions, and invited worldwide condemnation. What were these acts? Under the shadow of the Second World War, Germany had waged a genocidal war, which resulted in the mass murder of selected groups of innocent civilians of Europe. The number of people killed included 6 million Jews, 2 lakh gypsies, 1 million Polish civilians, 70,000 Germans who were considered mentally and physically disabled. Besides innumerable political opponents, Nazis devised an unprecedented means of killing people, that is by gassing them in various killing centers like Auschwitz. The Nuremberg Tribunal sentenced only 11 leading Nazis to death, 
Many others were imprisoned for life. The retribution did come, yet the punishment of the Nazis was far short of the brutality and extent of their crimes. The Allies did not want to be as harsh on defeated Germany as they had been after the First World War. Everyone came to feel that the rise of Nazi Germany could be partly traced back to the German experience at the end of the First World War. What was this experience? New words, genocidal killing on large scale leading or to destruction of large sections of people. One Birth of the Weimar Republic Germany a powerful empire in the early years of the 20th century fought the First World War 1914-1918 alongside the Austrian Empire and against the Allies, England, France and Russia. All joined the war enthusiastically hoping to gain from a quick victory. Little did they realize that the war would stretch on, eventually draining Europe of all its resources. Germany made initial gains by occupying France and Belgium. However, the Allies, strengthened by the US entry in 1917, own defeating Germany and the Central Powers in November 1918. The defeat of Imperial Germany and the abdication of the Emperor gave an opportunity to parliamentary parties to recast German polity. A national assembly met at Weimar and established a democratic constitution with a federal structure. Deputies were now elected to the German parliament or Reichstag on the basis of equal and universal votes cast by all adults including women. This republic however was not received well by its own people largely because of the terms it was forced to accept after Germany's defeat at the end of the First World War. The peace treaty at figure Germany after the Versailles Versa Treaty. You can see in this map the parts of the territory that Germany lost after the treaty. Zigzag Germany 1914 read land taken from Germany, land under League of Nations control, demilitarized zone. Denmark, North, Schleswig, Lithuania, Danzig, East Prussia, part of Germany, West Prussia, Posen, Poland, Upper Celsius, Belgium, France, Saarland, Alsace, Lorraine, Rhineland, Germany. Versailles with the Allies was a harsh and humiliating peace. Germany lost its overseas colonies. A tenth of its population, 13% of its territories, 75% of its iron and 26% of its coal to France, Poland, Denmark and Lithuania. The light powers demilitarized Germany to weaken its power. The war guilt clause held Germany responsible for the war and damages. The allied countries support. Germany was forced to pay compensation amounting To 6 billion euro. The Allied armies also occupied the resource rich Rhineland for much of the 1920s. Many Germans held the new Weimar Republic responsible for not only the defeat and the war but the disgrace at Versailles. The effects of the war. The war had a devastating impacts on the entire content 
continent both psychologically and financially. From a continent of creditors, Europe turned into one of the debtors. Unfortunately, the infant Weimar Republic was being made to pay for the sins of the old empire. The Republic carried the burden of war guilt and national humiliation and was financially crippled by being forced to pay compensation. Those who supported the Weimar Republic, mainly socialist Catholics and Democrats, became easy targets of attack in the conservative nationalist circles. They were mockingly called the November criminals. This mindset had a major impact on the political developments of the early 1930s, as we will soon see. The First World War left a deep imprint on European society and polity. Soldiers came to be placed above civilians. Politicians and publicists laid great stress on the need for men to be aggressive, strong, and masculine. The media glorified trench life. The truth, however, was that soldiers lived miserable lives in these trenches, trapped with rats feeding on corpses. They faced poisonous gas and enemy selling, and witnessed their ranks reduce rapidly. Aggressive war propaganda and national honor occupied center stage in the public sphere, while popular support grew for conservative dictatorship that had recently come into being. Democracy was indeed a young and fragile idea, which could not survive the instabilities of interwar Europe. Political Radicalisms and Economic Crisis The birth of the Weimar Republic coincided with the revolutionary uprising of the Spartacist leg on the pattern of the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia. Soviets of workers and sailors were established figure this is a rally organized by the radical group known as the Spartacist League. In the winter of 1918 to 1919, the streets of Berlin were taken over by the people. Political demonstrations became common. In many cities, the political atmosphere in Berlin was charged with demands for Soviet-style governance. Those opposed to this, such as the Socialist Democrats and Catholics, met in Weimar to give shape to the Democratic Republic. The Weimar Republic crafted the uprising with the help of a war veterans organization called Free Cops. The anguished Spartacist later founded the Communist Party of Germany Communist and Socialist henceforth became irreconcilable enemies and could not make common cause against Hitler. Both revolutionaries and militant nationalists carved for radical solution. Political radicalization was only heightened by the economic crisis of 1923. Germany had for the war largely on loans and had to pay war repercussions in gold. This depleted gold reserves at a time resources were scarce. In 1923, Germany refused to pay and the French occupied its leading industrial area, Ruhr, to claim their coal. Germany retaliated with passive resistance and printed paper currency recklessly. With too much printed money in circulation, the value of the German mark fell. In April, the US dollar was equal to 24,000 marks. In July, 353,000 marks. In August, 
46 lakhs 31,000 marks and at figure baskets and cards being loaded at a bank in Berlin with paper currency for wage payment 1923 the German mark had so little value that vast amounts had to be used even for small payments figure homeless men queuing up for a night shelter 1923 9 crore 88 lakh 60000 marks by december the figure had run into trillions as the value of the mark collapsed prices of goods soared the image of germans carrying cut loads of currency notes to buy a loaf of bread was widely publicized evoking worldwide sympathy this crisis came to be known as hyperinflation a situation when prices rise phenomenally high eventually the americans intervened and bailed germany out of the crisis by introducing the davos plan which reworked the terms of reparations to ease the financial burden on germans The years of depression. The years between 1924 and 1928 saw some stability. Yet this was built on sand. German investments and industrial recovery were totally dependent on short-term loans, largely from the USA. This support was withdrawn when the Wall Street Exchange crashed in 1929. Fearing a fall in prices, people made frantic efforts to sell their shares. On one single day, 24 October, 13 million shares were sold. This was the start of the Great Economic Depression. Over the next three years, between 1929 and 1932, the national income of the USA fell by half. Factories shut down, exports fell, farmers were badly hit, and speculators withdrew their money from the market. The effects of these recessions in the U.S. economy were felt worldwide. The German economy was the worst hit by the economic crisis. By 1932, industrial production was reduced to 40% of the 1929 level. Workers lost their job or were paid reduced wages. The number of unemployed touches an unprecedented 6 million. On the streets of Germany, you could see men with placards around their necks saying willing to do any work. Unemployed youths played cards or simply sat at street corners or desperately queued up at the local employment exchange. As jobs disappeared, the youth took to criminal activities and total despair became commonplace. The economic crisis created deep anxieties and fears in people. The middle classes, especially salaried employees and pensioners, saw their saving diminish when the currency lost its value. A small businessman, the self-employed and retailers suffered as their Figure 6. Slipping on the line. During the Great Depression, the unemployed could not hope for either wage or shelter on winter nights when they wanted to a shelter over their head. They had to pay to sleep like this. The economic crisis created 
deep anxieties and fears in people. The middle classes, especially salaried employees and pensioners, saw their savings diminish when the currency lost its value. The small businessmen, the self-employed and retailers suffered as their new words, Wall Street Exchange, the name of the world's biggest stock exchange located in the USA. Businesses got ruined. These sections of society were filled with the fear of proletariat. pro lateralization and anxiety of being reduced to the ranks of the working class. Or worse still, the unemployed, only organized workers could manage to keep their heads above water, but unemployed weakened their bargaining power. Big businesses was in crisis. The large mass of peasantry was affected by a sharp fall in agricultural prices and women. Unable to fill their children's stomachs were filled with a sense of deep despair. Politically, too, the Weimar Republic was fragile. The Weimar Constitution had some inherent defects, which made it unstable and vulnerable to dictatorship. One was proportional representation. This made achieving a majority by any one party a near impossible tax, leading to a rule by license. Another defect was Article 48, which gave the President the powers to impose emergency, suspend civil rights and rule by decree. Within its source life, the Weimar Republic saw 20 different cabinets lasting on an average to 39 days under liberal use of Article 48, yet the crisis could not be managed. People lost confidence in the democratic parliamentary system, which seemed to offer no solutions. New words pro lateralization pro-letterianization to become improvised to the level of working classes. Two, Hitler's rise to power. This crisis in the economy, polity, and society formed the background to Hitler's rise to power. Born in 1889 in Austria, Hitler spent his youth in poverty. When the First World War broke out, he enrolled for the army, acted as a messenger in the front, became a corporal, and earned medals for bravery. The German defeat horrified him and the Versailles Treaty made him furious. In 1919, he joined a small group called the German Workers' Party. He subsequently took over the organization and renamed in the National Socialist German Workers' Party. This party came to be known as the Nazi Party. In 1923, Hitler planned to seize control of Bavaria, march to Berlin and capture power. He failed, was arrested, tried for treason, and later released. The Nazis could not effectively mobilize popular support till the early 1930s. It was during the Great Depression that Nazism became a mass movement. As we have seen, after 1929, banks collapsed and businesses shut down. Workers lost their jobs and the middle classes were threatened with destitution. In such a situation, Nazi propaganda stirred hopes of a better future. In 1928, the Nazi party got no more than 2.6% votes in the Reichstag. The German parliament, by 1932, it had become the largest party with 37% votes.
figure. Hitler being greeted at the party congress in Nuremberg in 1938. New words propaganda, a specific type of message directly aimed at influencing the opinion of people through the use of poster, flames, speeches, etc. Figure Nuremberg Rally 1936 rallies like these were held every year. An important aspect of this was the demonstration of Nazi power as various organizations parodied past Hitler, showed loyalty and listened to his speeches. Hitler was a powerful speaker. His passion and his words moved people. He promised to build a strong nation, undo the injustice of the Versailles Treaty and restore the dignity of the German people. He promised employment for those looking for work and a secure future for the youth. He promised to weed out all foreign influences and resist all foreign conspiracies against Germany. Hitler devised a new style of politics. He understood the significance of rituals and spectacles in mass mobilization. Nazis held massive rallies. Figure Hitler addressing SA and SS column. Notice the sweeping and straight column of people. Such photographs were intended to show the grandeur and power of the Nazi movement and public meetings to demonstrate the support for Hitler and instill a sense of unity among the people, the red banners with the sastika, the Nazi salute, and the ritualized rounds of applause after the speeches were all part of these spectacles of power. Nazi propaganda skillfully projected Hitler as a messiah, a savior, as someone who had arrived to deliver people from their distress. It is an image that captured the imagination of a people whose sense of dignity and pride had been shattered and who were living in a time of acute economic and political crisis. The Destruction of Democracy on 30 January 1933, President Hindenburg offered the chancellorship the highest position in the cabinet of ministers to Hitler. By now, the Nazis had managed to rally the conservatives. To their cause, having acquired power, Hitler set out to dismantle the structure of democratic rule. A mysterious fire that broke out in the German Parliament building in February facilitated his move. The fire decree of 28 February 1933 indefinitely suspended civic rights like freedom of speech press and assembly that had been guaranteed by the Weimar constitution. Then he turned on his arch enemies, the communists, most of whom were hurriedly packed up to the newly established concentration camps. The repression of the communists was severe. Out of the surviving 6,808 arrest files of Dusseldorf, a small city of half a million population, 1,440 were those of communists alone. There were, however, only one among the 52 types of victims prosecuted by the Nazis across the country. On 3rd March 1933, the famous Nubling Act was passed. This act established dictatorship in Germany. It gave Hitler all powers to sideline parliament and rule by decree. All political parties and trade 
unions were banned except for the Naji party and its affiliates. The state established complete control over the economy, media, army and judiciary. Special surveillance and security forces were created to control and order society in ways that the Najis wanted. Apart from the already existing regular police in green uniform and the SA or the storm troopers. This included the Gestapo secret state police and the SS, the protection squad, criminal police and the security service SD. It was the extra constitutional powers of these newly organized forces that gave the Nazi state its rep reputation as the most dreaded criminal state. People could now be detained in Gestapo torture chambers, rounded up and sent to concentration camps, deported at will or arrested without any legal procedures. The police forces acquired powers to rule with impunity. New Words Concentration Camp, a camp where people were isolated and detained without due process of law. Typically, it was surrounded by electrified barbed wire fences. Reconstruction Figure the poster announces your Volkswagen. Such poster suggested that owing a car was no longer just a dream for an ordinary worker. Hitler assigned the responsibility of economic recovery to the economist Zalmar Saft, who aimed at full production and full employment through a state-funded war creation program. This project produced the famous German superhighways and the people's car, the Volkswagen. In foreign policy, also Hitler acquired quick successes. He pulled out of the League of Nations in 1933 reoccupied the Rhineland in 1936 and integrated Austria and Germany in 1938 under the slogan One People, One Empire and the One Leader. He then went on to wrest German-speaking Sudeten land from Sejek Slovakia and gobbled up the entire country in all of this he had the unspoken support of England which had considered the Versailles verdict too harsh. This quick successes at home and abroad seems to reverse the destiny of the country. Hitler did not stop here. Success had advised Hitler against Investing hugely in rear moment as the state still ran on deficit financing. Kausia's people, however, had no place in Nazi Germany. Such it had to live. Hitler chose where as the way out of the approaching. Figure Expansion of Nazi Power, Europe 1942. Greater Germany, powers cooperating with the Axis, territories under German occupation, Italy and its territories, neutral countries. Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, Atlantic Ocean. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Estonia, Lithuania, Denmark, United Kingdom, Ireland, Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Poland, Ukraine, Slovakia, France, Switzerland, Austria, Hungary, Romania, Italy, Yugoslavia, Albania, Bulgaria, Black Sea, Caspian Sea, Persia, Iraq, Syria, Turkey, 
Greece, Portugal, Spain, Mediterranean Sea, Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia. Economic crisis. Resources were to be accumulated through expansion of territory. In September 1939, Germany invaded Poland. They started a war with France and England in September 1940. A deportate pact was signed between Germany, Italy, and Japan. Strengthening Hitler's claim to international power, prepared regimes supportive of Nazi Germany were installed in a large part of Europe by the end of 1940. Hitler was at the pinnacle of his power. Hitler now moved to achieve his long-term aim of conquering Eastern Europe. He wanted to ensure food supplies and living space for Germans. He attacked the Soviet Union in June 1941. In this historic blunder, Hitler exposed the German Western Front to British aerial bombing and the Eastern Front to the powerful Soviet armies. The Soviet Red Army inflicted a crushing and humiliating defeat on Germany at Stalingrad. After this, the Soviet Red Army hounded out the retreating German soldiers until they reached the heart of Berlin, establishing Soviet hegemony over the entire Eastern Europe for half a century thereafter. Meanwhile, the USA had resisted involvement in the war. It was unwilling to once again face all the economic problems that the First World War had caused, but it could not stay out of the war for long. Japan was expanding its power in the East. It had occupied French Indochina and was planning attacks on U.S. naval bases in the Pacific. When Japan extended its support to Hitler and bombed the U.S. base at Pearl Harbor, the U.S. entered the Second World War. The war ended in May 1945 with Hitler's defeat and the U.S. dropping of the atom bomb on Hiroshima in Japan. From this brief account of what happened in the Second World War, we now return to Helmut and his father's story, a story of Nazi criminality during the war. Figure Newspapers in India track the developments in Germany. Iron rule in Germany. Hitler regime silencing the opposition. New emergency decree. Hitler reported dead, the Hindustan Times. Three, the Neji worldview. Source: For this art is not allotted to anyone, nor is it presented to anyone as a gift. It is awarded by provi providence to people who in their hearts have the courage to conquer it, the strength to preserve it, and the industry to put it to the plow. The primary right of this world is the right to life, so far as one possesses the strength for this. Hence, on the basis of this right, a vigorous nation will always find ways of adapting its territory to its population such. Hitler's Secret Book at Telford Taylor Source B. In an era when the earth is gradually being divided up among states, some of which embrace almost entire continents, we cannot speak of a world power in connection with a formation whose political mother country is limited to the absurd area of 500 kilometers. Hitler, Mein Kampf, page 644. The crimes that Nazis committed were linked to a system of belief and a set of practices. Nazi ideology was synonymous with Hitler's worldview. According to this, there was no equality between people but only a racial hierarchy in this view blonde, blue-white, Nordic German audience were at the top while Jews were located at the lowest rung. 
they came to be regarded as an anti race the arch enemies of the aryans all other colored people were placed in between depending upon their external features hitler's racism borrowed from thinkers like charles darwin and herbert spencer darwin was a natural scientist who tried to explain the creation of plants and animals through the concept of evolution and natural selection herbert spencer later added the idea of survival of the fittest according to this idea only those species survived on earth that could adapt themselves to changing climatic conditions we should bear in mind that darwin never advocated human intervention in what he thought was a purely natural processes of selection however his ideas were used by racist thinkers and politicians to justify imperial rule over conquered people the nazi argument was simple the strongest race would survive and the weak ones would perish the aryan race was the finest it had to retain its purity became stronger and dominate the world the other aspects of hitler's ideology related to the geopolitical concept of lebensraum or living space he believed that new territories had to be acquired for settlement they would enhance the area of the mother country while enabling the settlers on new lands to retain an intimate link with the place of their origin it would also enhance the material resources and power of the german nations hitler intended to extend german boundaries by moving eastwards to concentrate all germans geographically in one place plan became the laboratory for the experimentation activity read sources a and b what do they tell you about hitler's imperial ambition what do you think mahatma gandhi would have said to hitler about this ideas comment this establishment of the racial state new words nordic germans aryans one branch of those classified as aryans they lived in north european countries and had german or related origin once in power the nazis quickly began to implement their dream to creating an exclusive racial community of pure germans by physically eliminating all those who were seen as undesirable in the extended empire nazis wanted only a society of pure and healthy nordic aryans they alone were considered desirable only they were seen as worthy of prospering and multiplying against all others who were classed as undesirable this meant that even those germans who were seen as impure or abnormal had no right to exist under the Euthanasia program Helmut's father along with other Nazi officials had condemned to death many Germans who were considered mentally or physically unfit Figure police escorting gypsies who are being deported to Auschwitz 1943 to 1944 Jews were not the only community classified as undesirable there were others many gypsies and black living in nazi germany were considered as racial inferiors who threatened the biological purity of the superior aryan race they were widely pers- persecuted even russians and poles were considered shubhuman and hence undeserving of any humanity when germany occupied poland and parts of russia captured civilians were forced to work as slave labor many of them died simply through hard work and starvation jews remained the worst sufferers in nazi germany Nazi hatred of Jews had a 
precursors in the traditional Christian hostility towards Jews. They had been stereotyped as killers of Christian usurers. Until medieval times, Jews were barred from Wingland. They survived mainly through trade and money lending. They lived in separating Marx areas called Gethons. They were often persecuted through periodic organized violence and impulsion, impulsion, expulsion from the land. However, Hitler's hatred of Jews was based on pseudo-scientific theories of race, which held the conservation was no solution to the Jews' problem. It could be solved only through their total elimination. From 1933 to 1938, Nazis ter terrorists popularized and segregated the Jews, compelling them to leave the country. The next phase, 1939 to 1945, aimed at concentrating them in certain areas and eventually killing them in gas chambers in Poland. The Racial Utopia New words, Gypsy, the groups that were classified as Gypsy had their own community identify. Sinti and Roma were Two, two such communities, many of them traced their origin to India. Paparist reduced the absolute poverty, persecution, systematic organized punishment of those belonging to a group or religion, usurers, moneylenders charging excessive interest often used as a term of abuse. Under the shadow of where the Nazis proceeded to realize their murderous radical ideals, genocide and war became two sides of the same coin. Occupied Poland and divided up, much of northwestern Poland was annexed, annexed to Germany. Poles were forced to leave their homes and properties behind to be occupied by ethnic Germans brought in from occupied Europe. Poles were then herded like cattle in the other part called the general government. The destination of undesirable of empire members of police intelligentsia were murdered in large number in order to keep the entire people intellectually and spiritually survive. Polish children who looked like Aryan was were forcibly snatched from their mothers and examined by race experts. If they passed the race test, they were raised in German families and if not, they were deposited in orphanages where most perished. With some of the largest ghettos and gas chambers, the general government also served as the killing fields for the Jews. Activity. See the next two pages and write briefly. What does citizenship mean to you? Look at chapters 1 and 3 and write 200 words on how the French Revolution and Nazism defined citizenship. What did the Nuremberg laws mean to the undesirable in Nazi Germany? What other legal measures were taken against them to make them feel unwanted. Comment this. Figure this is one of the freight cars used to deport Jews to the death chamber. Steps to death. Stage 1 Exclusion 1933 to 1939. You have no right to live among us as citizens. The Nuremberg Laws of Citizenship of September 1935 one only persons of German or related blood would henceforth be German citizens enjoying the protection of the German Empire. 2. 
marriages between Jews and Germans were forbidden. Extra marital relations between Jews and Germans became a crime. Jews were forbidden to fly the national flag. Other legal measures included boycott of Jewish businesses, expulsion from government services, poor selling and confiscation of their properties. Besides Jews, properties were vandalized and looted, houses attacked, synagogues burnt and men arrested in a program in November 1938, remembered as the night of broken class. Figure Park Bench announces for audience only. New words Synagogues, place of worship for people of Jewish faith. Figure the sign declares that the North Sea bathing resort in free Jews. N North Sea Bad Nordani. IST Jordan Free Figure this is all I have to sell. Men and women were left with nothing to survive in the ghettos. Stage 2 Ghettoization 1940 to 1944. You have to write to live among us. From September 1941, all Jews had to wear a yellow star of David on their breast. This identity mark was stamped on their passport, all legal documents and houses. They were kept in Jewish houses in Germany and in ghettos like Laws and Warsaw in the East. This became sites of extreme misery and poverty. Jews had to surrender all their wealth before they entered a ghetto. Soon the ghettos were brimming with hunger, starvation and diseases due to deprivation and poor hygiene. Step 3 Annihilation 1941 onwards, you have no right to live. Figure killed while trying to escape the concentration camps were enclosed with live wires. 19. Figure piles of clothes outside the gas chamber. Jews from Jews' houses. Concentration camps and ghettos from different parts of Europe were brought to death factories by goods train in Poland and elsewhere in the East. Most no notably Blazek, Auschwitz, Sobibor, Treblinka, Chilemno, and Mazdark. They were charged in gas chamber. Mass killing took place within minute and sacrifice protection. Mass killing took place within minutes with scientific precision. Figure a concentration camp. A concentration camp, a camera can making a death. Figure 20, concentration camp. Figure 21, a concentration camp. A camera can make a death camp look behind. A concentration camp. Figure, a camera can make a death camp look beautiful. Figure, shoes taken away from prisoners before 
the final shoots shoots taken away from prisoners before the final solution shoots taken a taken away from prisoners before the final solution youth in nazi germany hitler was financially interested in the youth of the country he felt that a strong nazi society could be established only by teaching children nazi ideology Hitler was financially interested in the youth of the country he felt that a strong nazi society and could be established only by teaching children nazi ideology this required a control over the child both inside and outside school what happened in schools under nazism all schools were cleansed and purified this meant that teachers who were jews or seen as politically unreliable were dismissed children were forced segregated Germans and Jews could not sit together or play together subsequently undesirable children Jews the physically handicapped Jews were thrown out of system and finally in the 1940s they were taken to the gas chamber Fager classroom sin depicting a lesson on the rising racial anti-semitism from dark place the poison mushroom by ernest heimer nuremberg der stormer caption reads the jewish nose is bent at its point it looks like the number 6 good german children were subjected to process of nazi schooling a prolonged period of ideological training school textbooks to our written racial science was introduced to justify nazi ideas of race the stereotype about good german children who are subjected to process of nazi schooling a prolonged period of ideological training school textbooks to were written Resistant racial science was introduced to justify Nazi ideas of race. Stereotypes about Jews were popularized even through math classes. Children were taught to be loyal and submissive to the head Jews and worship Hitler. Even the function of sports was to nurture. a spirit of violence and aggressions among children hitler believed that a boxing could make children iron hearted strong and masculine 
figure Jewish teacher and Jewish people expelled from school under the jeers of classmate from Trau Canem, Jord of Granor, held in Bilderbach for Gross and Kiom. Trust no Jew on the German health. A picture book for Big and Little by Alvira Beor, Nuremberg, Dear Stoner, 1936. Young organizations were made responsible for educating German youth in the spirit of National Socialism. Ten years old had to enter Jung Book. At 14, all boys had to join the Neji Youth Organization. Hitler Youth, where they learned to worship war, glorify aggressions and violence, condemn democracy and hate Jews, communities, gypsies, and all those categorized as undesirable. After a period of rigorous ideological and physical training, they joined the labor services, usually at the state of 18. They then they had to serve in the armed forces and enter one of the Neji organization. The youth leg of the Nejis was found in 1923. Four years later, it was renamed Hitler Youth. To uniform the youth movement under Neji control, all other youth organizations were systematically dissolved and finally banned. Activity, if you were a student still in one of these classes, how would you have felt together? Have felt towards Jews? Have you ever thought of the stereotypes of other communities that people around you believe in? How have they acquired them? Comment this. New work, jungle, jungbok, navy youth groups for children between 14 years of ages. Source C. All boys between the ages of 6 and 10 went through a preliminary training in Naji ideology. At the end of the training, they had to make the following oath of loyalty to Hitler. In the presence of this blood banner which represent our father, I showed to devote all my energies and my strength to the savior of our country, Adolf Hitler. I am willing and ready to give up my life for him. So help the God. So help me God. From W. Seder, the rise and fall of the third rich figured Jewish children arriving at a dead factory to be guessed. Such dream, Robert Lay, head of the German Labour Front, said we start when the child is three years old. As soon as he even starts to think, he is given a little flag to whip. Then comes school, the Hitler Youth Military Services. But when all this is over, we don't let go of anyone. Let go of anyone. The labor front takes hold of them and keeps hold until they go to the grave, whether they like it or not. figure desirable children that Hitler wanted to see multiplied. Figure German blooded infant with his mother being brought from occupied Europe to annexed Poland for settlement. 
activity look at figure 23 24 and 27 imagine yourself to be a jew or poor in nazi germany it is september 1941 and the law forcing jews to wear the star of david has just been declared right and account of one day in your life the nazi cult of motherhood children in nazi germany were repeatedly told that women were radically different from men the fight for equal rights for men and women that had become part of democratic struggles. Everywhere was wrong and it would destroy society. Desirable children that Hitler wanted to see multiplied. A German blooded infant with his mother being brought from occupied Europe to annex Poland for settlement. Activity look at figure 23 to 24 and 7. Imagine yourself to be Jew or a Pole in Nazi Germany. It is September 1941 and law forcing. Jews to wear the star of David has just been declared right an account of one day in your life. Comment this. The Nazi cult of motherhood. Children in Nazi Germany were repeatedly told that women were radically different from men. The fight for equal rights for men and women had, that had become part of democratic struggle everywhere was wrong and it would destroy society. While boys were taught to be aggressive, masculine and still hurted, girls were told that they had to become good mothers and reared pure-blooded Aryan children. Girls had to girls had to maintain the purity of the race distance themselves from Jews look after the home and teach their children Nazi values. They had to be the bearers of the Aryans culture and race. In 1933, Hitler said, in my state, the mother is the most important citizen. But in Nazi Germany, all mothers were not treated equally. Women who bore radically undeserved children were punished, and those who produced radically deserved children were rewarded. They were given favorite treatment in hospital. And were also entitled to concession in shop and on theater ticket and railway fares. To encourage women to produce many children, honor courses were awarded. A bronze cross was given for four children, silver for six and gold for eight or more. All Aryan women who deviated from the prescribed code of conduct were publicly condemned and severely punished. 
those who maintained contact with Jaws, Poles, and Russians were paraded through the town with shaped heads, blackened faces, and placards hanging around their necks announcing, I have supplied the honor of the nation, many received jail sentences and lost civic honor, as well as their husband and families for this criminal offense. The Art of Propaganda The Neji regime and language and media with care and open to great effect. The terms they coined to describe their various practices are not only deceptive, They were chilling. Nazis never used the word skill or mother in their official communication. Mass killings were termed special treatment, final solution for the Jews. Euthanasia for the disabled, selection and disinfection. Evacuations meant deporting people to gas chambers. Do you know what the gas chambers were called? They were labeled disinfection areas and looked like bathrooms equipped with fake shower head. Media was carefully used to win support for the regime and popularized its worldview. Nazi ideas were spread through visual images, films, radio, posters, catchy slogans, and leaflets. In posters, groups identified as the enemies of German were stereotyped, mocked, abused, and described As Stephen. As Evil. Socialists and liberals were represented as weak and degenerate. They were attacked as malicious foreign agents. Propaganda films was the eternal Jew, orthodox. Jews were stereotyped and marked. They were shown Sursi in an address to women at the Nuremberg Party rally at September 1938, Hitler said, We do not consider it correct for the woman to interface in the world of the man in his main sphere. The, we considered it natural that these two worlds remain distinct. What the man gives in courage on the battlefield, the woman gives in eternal self-sacrifice, the eternal pain and suffering every child that woman brings to the world is a battle. A battle waged for the existence of her people. Sorsep, Hitler at the Nuremberg party rally at September 1934 also said, the man is the most stable element in the preservation of a folk. She has the most unerring sense of everything that is important to not let a trace disappear because it is her children who would be affected by all the suffering in the first place. That is why we have integrated the woman in the struggle of the racial community. Just as near and providences have determined so. With following bears wearing 
captains, whereas in reality it was difficult to distinguish German Jews by their outward appearances. Because they were a highly assimilated community, they were referred to as vermin, pads and pest. Their movements were compared to those of, of rodents. Nazism worked on the minds of the people, trapped their emotion, and stunned their hatred. Nazism worked on the minds of the people, trapped their emotion and turned their hatred and anger at them marked as undesirable. The Nazis made equal effort to appeal to all the different sections of the population. They sought to win their support by suggesting that Nazis alone could Nazism worked on the minds of the people, trapped their emotion, and turned their hatred, hatred and anger at those marked as undesirable. The Nazis made equal effort to appeal to all the different sections of the population. They sought to win their support by suggesting that Nazi alone could solve all their problems. Activity How would you have reacted to Hitler's ideas if you were a Jewish woman, a non-Jewish German woman. Cover in this. Figure a Nazi poster attacking Jews. Caption above reads, money is the god of Jews. In order to earn money, he commits the greatest crimes. He does not rest until he can steal on a big sack of money, until he has become a king of money. Activity, what do you think this poster is trying to depict? Comment this. Figure the leaflet shows how the Nazis appeal to the peasants. German farmer, you belong to Hitler? Why? National Socialism. Figure, a Nazi party poster of the 1920s, it asks workers to vote for Hitler. The frontline soldiers. Figure 30. Activity look at figures 29 and 30 and answer the following. What do they tell us about Nazi propaganda? How are the Nazis trying to mobilize different sections of the population? Comment this. Some important dates. August 1st, 1914, First World War begins. November 9, 1918, Germany capitulated, ending the war. November 9, 1918, Proclamation of the Weimar Republic. June 28, 1919, Treaty of Versailles. Bar Versailles. June 30, 1933, Hitler becomes November 9, 1918, Proclamations of the Weimar Republic, June 28, 1919, Treaty of Versailles, January 30, 1933, Hitler becomes Chancellor of Germany, September 1, 1939, Germany interviews, Germany invades the USSR, June 23, 1941, Mass Murder of the Jews begin, December 8, 1941, the United States joined Second World War.
January 27 June 22 1941 Germany invades the USSR June 23 1941 mass murder of the Jews begin December December 8 1941 the United States joins second world war January 27 1945 Soviet troops liberate Auschwitz May 18 May 8 1945 allied victory in Europe Five ordinary people and the crimes against humanity. How did the common people react to Nazism? Many saw the world through Nazi eyes and spoke their mind in Nazi language. The felt hatred and anger surge inside them were when they saw someone who looked like a Jew. They marked the houses of Jews and reported suspicious neighbors. the genuinely believed nazism would bring prosperity and improve general well-being but not every german was a nazi many organized active resistance to nazism braving police repressions and death the large majority of german however were passive on lookers and apathetic witnesses they were too scared to act to defer to protest they preferred to look away pastor nemol a resistant fighter absorb an absence of protest and uncanny silence among ordinary germans in the face of brutal and organized crimes committed against people in the legi in the nazi empire he wrote movingly about this silence first they came for the communist well i was not a communist so i said nothing then they came for the social democrats well i was not a social democrat so i did nothing then they came for the trade unionist but i was not a trade unionist and then they came for the jews but i, I was not a jew so i did let then when they came for me there was no one left who could stand up for me box 1 was the lack of concentration for nazi victims only because of the terror no says lawrence reeves who interviewed people from diverse background for the his recent documentary the nazis a warning from history Erna Kern the ordi- an ordinary German teenager in the 1930s and a grandmother now said to Reeves 1930s offered a glimmer of hope not just for the unemployed but for everybody for we all felt downtrodden from my own experience i could say salaries in christian germany seem to have regained its sense of purpose i could only say for myself i thought it was a good time i like it activity why does arna khan says i could only say for myself how do you view her opinion comment this what you spelt in nazi germany in a different story altogether carol t brad secretly recorded people's dream in her diary and later published them in a highly disconcerting book called the third 
reach of dreams. She describes how Jews themselves began believing in the Nazi stereotypes about them. They dreamed of their hooked noses, black hair and eyes, Jewish looks and body movements. The stereotypical images publicized in the Nazi press hunted the Jews. They troubled them even in their dreams. Jews died many deaths even before they reached the gas chamber. Knowledge about the Holocaust Figure Inhabitants of the Warsaw Ghetto collected documents and placed them in three milk cans along with other containers. As destruction seemed imminent, these containers were buried in the cellars of buildings in 19. 43, this can was discovered in 1950. Figure Denmark secretly rescued their Jews from Germany. This is one of the boards used for the purpose. Information about Nazi practices had trickled out of Germany during the last years of the regime. But it was only after the war ended and Germany was defeated that the world came to realize the horror of what had happened. While the Germans were preoccupied with their own plight as a defeated nation emerging out of the rubble. The Jews wanted the world to remember the atrocities and suffering they had endured during the Nazi killing operations, also called the Holocaust. At its height, a ghetto Inhabitant had said to another that he wanted to outlive the war just for half an hour. Presumably, he meant that he wanted to be able to tell the world about what had happened in Nazi Germany. This indomitable spirit to bear witnesses and to preserve the documents can be seen in many Quito and Cam inhabitants who wrote diaries kept notebooks and created archives. On the other hand, when the war seemed lost, the Nazi leadership distributed patrols to its functionaries to destroy all incriminating evidences available in offices. Yet the history and the memory of the Holocaust live on in memoirs, function, fiction, documentaries, poetry, memorial and museums in many parts of the world today. These are a tribute to those who resisted it and embarrassing remember to those who collaborate and a warning to those who were still silenced. Box 2. Mahatma Gandhi writes to Hitler. Letter to Adolf Hitler as at Wardha Sepi, India. July 23, 1939. Herr Hitler, Berlin, Germany. Dear friend, friends have been urging me to write to you for the sake of humanity, but I have resisted their request because of the feeling that any letter from me would be an impertinence. Something tells me that I must not calculate that I must make my appeal for whatever it may be worth. It is quite clear that you are today the one person in the world who can prevent a war which may reduce humanity to the savage state. Must you pay that price for an object however worthy it may appear to you to be? Will you listen to the appeal of one who has deliberately shunned the method of war 
not without considerable successes anyway i anticipate your forgiveness if i have erred in writing to you i remain your sincere friend m k gandhi the collected works of mahatma gandhi volume 76 Letter to Adolf Hitler, Varda, December 24, 1940. We have found in non-violence a force which, if organized, can without doubt match itself against a combination We have found in non-violence a force which, if organized, can without doubt match itself against a combination of all the most violent forces in the world in non violence technique as i have said there is no such thing as defeat it is all do or die without killing or hurting it can be used practically without money and obviously without the aid of science of distraction which you have brought to such perfection it is a marvel to me that you do not see that it is nobody's monopoly it is not the british some other power will certainly improve upon your method and beat you with your own weapon you are leaving no legacy to your people of which they would feel proud they cannot take pride in a recital of cruel deed however skillfully planned i therefore appeal to you in the name of humanity to stop the war i am your sincere friend mk gandhi the collected works of mahatma gandhi volume 79 activities write a one page history of germany as a school child in nazi germany as a jewish survivor of a concentration camp as a political opponent of the nazi regime Imagine that you are Helmut you have had many Jewish friends in school i do not believe that Jews are bad write a paragraph on what you would say to your father comment this questions do this and comment this